Well, good morning. Today is the day after Summit Day. We stayed at the Katahdin Inn in Millinocket. So let's just go over the gear that made it here. These are my shoes, which made it from Hamburg, Hamburg, not Germany, uh, Pennsylvania. So they lasted a thousand miles. They stink very badly. They're shoe glue and sewing line holding them together. They are completely kaput, so I'm going to throw those away. This is a hammock that I picked up in Rangeley, Maine, which I used one time, but now I have a hammock because somebody left it in a hiker box. This is my X-Ped sleeping pad. It's a little bit wet, needs cleaned with the pump, which I got in Franklin, North Carolina. This is my hike and bike sleeping bag, which the strap came off a little bit, and there's some sewing line or fishing line holding one of the straps together but otherwise the sleeping bag held up well it's a 15 degree bag these are frog dog rain pants which I got in New oh, Vermont in a hiker box because mine tore up but that was a great purchase the frog dogs I'll get to those in a second later I got the super German cream I got Leo the lion toothbrush toothpaste dirty water bottle my bag, which was awesome, it's an Osprey Exos 50 Atmos. It was great, it held up well. There's nothing in it right now, so it's at its original weight of 4 pounds, but it stinks a little bit. I got my Flash Superhero, which I got in Hanover from Flash Fire and her family. I got my uh, hand sanitizer. There's my toilet paper, American flag. My clothes, which I have two shirts, my camp towel, my uh, thermal, three pairs of darn tough socks, and my light heart gear tent. My light heart gear solo awning was awesome. This is my frog dog tops, which are totally kaput. They're more duct tape than they are actual frog dogs anymore, but they made it the whole way. This is probably my best purchase. $7.99 for the frog tile tops and bottoms. Then over here we have my food bag, which is a 25 liter bag from Walmart. It was awesome. It's like a $3 purchase. My Zero shoes, uh, which were my camp shoes. They weigh 7 ounces. They're awesome. My Adidas Puffy, or Poofy if you're from Germany. Adidas, that's what they would say. That was awesome and comfortable. It's my backup battery, which is an anchor. It weighs about one pound, but it gave me, I uh, never ran out of battery, not one time. Then my three bag system from Walmart, the yellow, red, blue. The yellow one was my clothes bag, so this holds all my clothes, that's why it's empty. The blue bag is snacks and coffee, that's why there's still a little bit in there, because I never ran out of coffee. I made coffee every morning on the trip. It's the only thing I didn't give up. And the red bag is toiletries. There's uh, pink razors and other stuff in there. This is the pinwheel, which made it all the way from Daleville. Flash wire got me. My headlamp, uh, fuel, a spoon, which came from Paisanos. Carried that the whole way. This is my jet boil zip, which is awesome. Make uh, coffee and oatmeal if you wanted to, but I just made coffee. Make coffee for two people every morning. Here's my Wolfie hat, which made it all the way from Daleville also. I picked that up in Daleville. Seahawks hat, because the Seahawks rule. And then here's my dry electronics bag, which the uh, anchor battery went in, all my cable, and my guidebook, and a pen. My guidebook is down to one page, which I just kept. And then here's the guidebook. Each day I put it in my pocket inside of a Ziploc bag to stay warm. And there's my Baxter State Park hiker permit. My HEC bumper sticker for my car when I get back to Atlanta. That's my halfway point picture, and that's my Appalachian Trail map. Get upside down. But inside it shows the whole entire Appalachian Trail that we hiked from Georgia all the way to Maine. So that's all the stuff that made it. Oh, and my trekking poles. I forgot about my trekking poles because they're complete too. But I was the only person that I saw on trail with eastern trekking poles. But the tip fell off of one of them in New Hampshire. They collapsed without warning. And that's held up with duct tape, so. But they made it all the way, 
so I'm pretty happy with my gear. Anyway, that's all for now. Happy hiking.